bring you the coin toss. And it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Both teams are on the field, and we're just about ready to open things up. Wesley takes it at the 14. He's taken down at the 26-yard line. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. He's out of bounds at the 30-yard line. From their own 30-yard line. Second down. Makes the catch and look out. Brooks gets him about three yards with a completion. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. And he's taken down around the 44-yard line. Besides going deep on the fade, the slant route is probably the most commonly run route against man coverage. If the receiver gets a good inside release, it'll be a new set of downs every time. He just gets rid of it. It's second and ten. Ball on the 44. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. throws this one away. They're going to be forced to punt it away here. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass, and they defended the play very well in the secondary. Sellers is waiting for the snap. He takes it at the 12. They'll bring him down at the 26. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Fires out to his receiver. And down he goes around the 49-yard line. Change of quarterback, Kirby. you got to wonder what that's going to do to the team morale. It is next man up. They've got to be ready to trust this guy. From the 49-yard line, first down. He's at the 40. They'll bring him down at the 28. Nothing tentative on that run at all. He looked very determined and got the first down. He's at the 20. He's tackled right around the 16-yard line. They move the sticks after another first down. Impressive drive by this offense so far. I really like what they're doing by keeping this defense on their heels and moving the ball downfield. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 16-yard line. Tackle made at the 13-yard line. He 
fights forward to about the 10. From the 10-yard line, it's third down. Throws to the receiver, got it for the touchdown. Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. They got great concentration from everyone to connect on that flag pattern. He makes the PAT. A six-play, 73-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. So our score, 7-0. They line up to kick this one away. Wesley fields it at the 18. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. Kirk, you're going to love the way this football game has started for this team. They put a lot of work into it, and it's working for them. Right yeah, they've, they've been able to capture the momentum of this game early. It's such a pivotal part of winning a college football game is holding on to that now. Let's just see if they're able to maintain it. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. And he went way up, and he's got the interception. Oh, boy. I bet he knew as soon as he released that football that he shouldn't have made the throw. And that's the thing. When you're under that kind of pressure, it takes away that one split second you need to scan the area so you know where it's a safe throw. First and ten. Ball on the 42-yard line. Tackled outside after a nice pickup. That makes it second and six. Now here's the line. Here's the line. Third two, third two. Get in the hole. And he has it on the corner. What a huge run by the tailback. It's pretty obvious that this offensive line controlled the line of scrimmage that time, but did you see how this halfback eluded the defense? First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 13. Tackle around the 10-yard line. That's good for a game in three yards. That makes it second and six. They'll run it. Nice run to the outside. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. In the shotgun and five wideouts. These guys, especially in the secondary, really get after it and can make life hard for the play callers on the other side of the ball. Short yardage situation, and the offense is in the jumbo package. Fires quickly, touchdown! Tight end scored that time, and with authority. Brad, he's a physical football player, but he's also got the finesse to make a big impact in the passing game. You talk about a clutch play. They couldn't afford any mistakes on fourth down there. And he converts the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He makes it to the 28-yard line. Bucker 
they say if you don't let the other team score, you're going to win. You can't lose. That's what's going on so far. Well, this defense is bending a bit, but they're not breaking. They're off to a great start, keeping their offense and this team in a position to be able to win this game. Let's see if they can maintain it. They threw a pick the last time out. Should be interesting to see what they do this time. He's got a lot of time to forget about that last pick. He's just got to stick to the game plan. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Never really had a shot. They were on him almost as soon as he took the handoff. From their own 26-yard line, it's second down. Good throw, and they make the stop right around the 28-yard line. First quarter of action. 14, nothing. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. They'll spread the field with five wide. Another pass to the tight end, and he's got it. And he's tackled right around the 36-yard line. They couldn't get anything to work, and it will be fourth down. The defense is going to head to the sideline with a real sense of accomplishment, knowing that they've just shut this offense down. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. Think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Lateral's back, and he's got space. He's taken down at the 49-yard line. That makes it first and 10. First and 10. Ball on the 49. for the corner and they push him out around the 39 yard line that's a deal that brings up second and one and he's level at the 37 that's a deal of two on the first down from the 37 yard line it's first down Some daylight. He's at the 20. Brought down at the 12 yard line. He's had no problem finding running room today. That makes it 100 yards. The game plan they devised has been working fantastically. And nowhere has that been more evident than in the rushing numbers. under pressure and he's taken down at the 11 that makes it second and 10 from the 11 yard line second down inside handoff tackle after a decent run up the gut call the game of 6 yards that makes it third and three. Watch 35, watch 35. Oh yeah, I'm coming. Oh yeah, I'm coming. That's a great tackle at the two-yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive. That makes it first and goal. Got to be careful of a pass play with this defense. And down he goes around the one yard line. That brings up second and goal. It's second and goal. 
One yard to the goal line. And it pays off. Touchdown. There are some guys when they get near the goal line, they just have a knack for getting the ball into the end zone. That's what we saw right there. And he tacks on the extra point. A nine-play, 61-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big running lines. The score now, 21-0. He just drills this one. Tackle made at the 16-yard line. Brad, as good as this defense has looked, I'm not necessarily surprised by this shutout. I mean, you and I were there on Wednesday watching this team practice, and when this first-team defense goes against their own first-team offense in a practice, sometimes it's actually better than the game itself. So they prepared themselves very well to have this kind of game. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. That's good to that makes it second and six. Second and six. Ball on the 20. Mike Moore, Mike Moore. Gets out to around the 28. That makes it first and ten. And there wasn't anyone in the vicinity. I think the ball just slipped out on them. From their own 28-yard line. It's second down. And a quick throw. That was a close one, but the ball goes out of bounds. From their own 31 yard line. Third down. Gains his way to the 40 yard line. From their own 40-yard line, second down. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Gets it out quickly. They'll bring him down at about the 49. So close, but they fall short of the first down. You've got to throw the ball a little deeper next time. Don't take any chances of coming up short. Sellers to punt. Whoa, he just took a licking. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. The offense calls a timeout. They pick up a good six yards there. They executed the screenplay well here by getting the ball to the halfback. They pick up some yards. Scrambling around. There's a very impressive open field tackle. He lets it fly. 
It's broken up. You've got to admire the coverage for being able to deny the home run ball so cleanly. From their own 39-yard line, second down. He zips it out to the left. It's dropped. Incomplete. That's what can happen when you run the same play. Yeah, you need to be aware of that and try to mix things up to keep the defense off balance. Fires out quickly to the tailback. He's tackled at the 46. A seven-yard pickup on the screenplay. It's a well-designed play to the halfback, and it worked at least to get them a medium gain on the play. Easily. Back deep to return. Here's the punt. No, they're going to throw it. Tackle at the 27-yard line. Inside the 10. This guy just continues to impress me. Every time I watch this team play, he seems to come up with big plays. Where was the coverage there? There wasn't anybody near him at all. And he adds the extra point. A seven-play, 76-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Brett, I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync, making it very tough for the defense to slow them down. I'm really surprised how lopsided this first half has been. But this is college football, and no matter what the score is, the adrenaline's always pumping on both sides. Tackle made at the 26-yard line. And we finally come to the end of the first half, and this one's not even close. 28, nothing. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. This is Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. When you don't give up any sacks, and neither team did in the first half, the offensive line gets a lot of credit, and deservedly so. Quarterbacks also deserve some credit for that. They get rid of the football on time, yep. throw it away when they need to, but a lot of times they're doing it because they don't really feel any heat from the defense. Yeah, and, and defensively, you got to be able to see that. And if it's a three-step drop, then all you can do is get your hands up, try to deflect footballs. And if you're in the, in the if you're in the middle and you're a defensive tackle, try to push that guard as much as you can. So when that quarterback steps up, he has to step into somebody. Or how about you make a move and get outside of the pocket? You know, especially the blind side. The blind side of the quarterback. We always talk about that guy. You know, in the NFL, making all the money. A lot of times, you can take more risk. You can come inside on a pass rush or come outside because the quarterback can't see you. So some way, shape, or form, they got to start making sure that they make him uncomfortable and get some pressure on him. That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Pollock can bring a little energy in the second half. Got a lot of games to watch, including yours. Brad and Kurt, ready for the second half. Very lopsided first two quarters. We'll hope for better as we head into the third. From his own goal line. Across the 30. They'll bring him down at the 31. You know, I've been so caught up in these offensive players, the quarterback and the receivers, and what's happening on the field. i got to step back for a second and remind all of us what the job the offensive coordinator has done, preparing his team and calling the right plays to give them such a chance to play well. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. It's second and six. Ball on the 35-yard line. Hey, 
Quick out to his receiver. Tackle right around the 48-yard line. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 48-yard line. him hard at the 40-yard line. Nice blocking on the counter, and he was able to pick up around eight yards. Straight run, and he brought down in the backfield. That was just smash mouth, helmet to chin football by the defensive line there. They dominated the point of attack. They're about four yards away here on third down. corner he makes his way to about the 28 That's good to be in first down. caught end zone for the touchdown the tight end gets so open on such a big play. That was poor defense. Looks like there was some miscommunication between the safety and the linebackers, which caused for him to get so open. That's a great touchdown, Brad, but what happened to the coverage there by the defense? The defensive coordinator's got to be beside himself. You know, you work all week long on studying an offense and their tendencies, and then to have a mental error and to leave the star receiver open like that for a touchdown? Well, they've got to regroup. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You know, this defense played so well in the first half. I was very impressed. I know that, and I couldn't be more impressed with how they carried it over to the third quarter. Well, the most impressive thing is the way they have been able to maintain that into this second half. They played lights out in the first half, but they just seem to be getting better as this game goes on. I hope they show some fight here and try to stay competitive. If you're going to get blown out, you at least want to go down swinging. And that one's incomplete. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. Takes a handoff, tackled for a loss. there by the tailback to at least move the ball forward for some positive yards. Sellers is the punter. Brought down at the 50-yard line. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force him into a mistake. First and 10. Ball on the 38-yard line. Stop around the 28 yard line. That's good for a of 10 yards. That brings us second and one. This offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Get up. 
He's got it out to his tight end. Make it a hat trick with three TD catches. He's done a great job of getting open and splitting the defense, and three touchdowns later, this poor old defense is still trying to figure out a way to stop the guy. And he hits the PAT. They line up to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Rams have just gone ice cold on offense. They can't seem to get anything going. Uh, and right now, they just have to forget the score, forget the clock, just go out there and try to get a first down, try to hope to build a little bit more confidence and continuity on this offense. Makes the catch, and the defense is all over him. They bring him down for a loss. That'll bring up second and 12. from their own 23-yard line. Second down. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. Wesley was the intended receiver on the play. Third down. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's taken down at the 43. That makes it first and ten. So after the big pass play, we've got a first down. it out to maybe the 40-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. They come out in a five-wide set. And they get the sack. It's a big-time effort sack by the defensive end. I want to also give some credit to the coverage downfield. The end never gave up on the play, but because the quarterback didn't have anywhere to go with the football, it gave the defensive end enough time to eventually chase the quarterback down for that sack. So we're looking at another third down here. It's a great tackle at the 45-yard line. Wow, that is a big hit on the quarterback. That's one of those as an offensive lineman. When the film study starts to come around, you're going to kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out because you're going to get embarrassed on Monday on that one. And they're coming after this punter. This back's had a good day on the ground, Kirk. Well, you're going to have big games like this when you show the kind of patience that this runner is showing because you let the play develop and then you explode through the hole for those yards. He's helped to put his team in a winning position, so let's see if he can keep that up or if the defense can contain him here. This offense threw the ball extremely well on their last drive, and they ended up with a touchdown. I think the defense right now is just sitting back on their heels. They're allowing the offense to kind of dictate things to them. And the one thing is that any defensive coordinator will tell you in the country, you have to be the one trying to dictate things to the offense. So change it up. Try something different. If it's not working, you can't continue to sit back on your heels. From their own 41-yard line, first down. Knocked out of bounds at 
the 48. And it looks like they're going to run away with this one as we head into the fourth quarter. 42, nothing. Well, folks, we resume action here in the fourth quarter. We'll hope for some action because so far it's been a lopsided one. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Throws complete. He's got room to work. And he's taken down at the 45. From the 45-yard line, it's first down. some room brought down at the 33 that's good for a game 12 yards that makes it first and 10 run right side he gets out to about the 32 yard line that brings up second and nine from the 32 yard line it's second down They'll line up with five wide receivers. Throws complete. He's got space to work. And down he goes at the 20-yard line. Game 12 yards. First down. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. There's a play fake. Runs with it, and he's got room. And he's level at the four. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Tackles him hard at the seven-yard line. A loss on that one as he couldn't get past those big linemen. You got that right. They sacrificed their bodies in there and stuffed him. From the seven-yard line, second down. Just under three to go in regulation. in another touchdown this back has great vision which allows him to make runs like this one we just saw he splits the uprights with the extra point the kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off Excellent kick. He's tackled at the 17. I tell you, you've got to tip your hat to the defense. They played well today. Uh, this defense has done everything that's asked of them. They've slowed down the opposing offense. They've created turnovers. They've got pressure on the quarterback. In these last couple drives, they've just played probably the best they've played all game. The deficit is huge. But as a player, you never want to slow down your effort. Believe me, coaches notice the ones who aren't trying that hard. It could be that the offensive coordinator is trying to lure the secondary in to play more press coverage. And then they'll try to take advantage by going deep. Those safeties better be ready. Four down, four down. 
from their own 18-yard line. Second down. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. come out in an empty backfield. Steps out of bounds at the 42-yard line. Easily. Picks up about three with that catch. That'll make it second and seven. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 42-yard line. Just under two to go in the game. Makes it out to about the 50. Coming up here. Ball on the 48. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. it to the 24. That makes it second and two. It's second down and they're about two yards away from the sticks. They'll spread the field with five wide. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. It's the ninth play of the drive. Quarter, but this game's been over almost since the beginning. I think it's time for everybody to head to the locker room. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Wow, what a battle and what a stop right there. Congratulations to that defense. That's going to be the ball game. Well, late in the fourth quarter, this game has been over for a long time, and now we just want to get out of here like these two teams do. And he's tackled the 37-yard line. First down. And this one's all but wrapped up with the final score, 49 nothing. So that wraps things up for us, Free A Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.